I picked it up. I, I grew up really close with a family of, you know, a lot of boys and, and their older siblings had actually played college basketball. So go, growing up over there, you know, I always, we always played 21. And, and so when I was finally able to get onto a court with, a, it was a combined league of boys and girls, I want to say probably third grade. Um, it was just one of my sports, you know, I, I wrestled and played football and did, did everything, so. Um, but I could see that one being the, the ticket. Yeah, my sister actually went here. Um, so I decided to come down to a team camp when I was a sophomore. And then I ended up getting offered that night, that same night that I was down here. So it was kind of crazy, but I committed my sophomore year. You know, I think we're really well coached and we all have the same vision of what we want to do. We have the same goals. So we've been on board since early summer and regardless of what everyone has said about, you know, new coach, losing amazing players, how's it going to be? You know, those questions are always in the air. But I think we made it important to just live in the moment and keep working hard every day. And as you can see, it's paying off and we're having a lot of fun. And that's been a big thing this, this year is it's been, I mean, we've been winning, which is fun, but we've also been really enjoying each other's company. Yeah, I've had a lot of thought about um, what I wanna do, but I've wanted to be a photographer since I'm like, probably nine years old when I got my first camera, uh, my first serious camera. And I think just the art of storytelling is special to me. In, in whatever form that comes in in the future. I'm not really sure what that is yet, but um, I'm really into fashion and I'm really into just documentation of everyday human life and um, just making sure that I'm telling people stories and keeping, keeping on doing that for you know the rest of my life in whatever way that looks like. In my head, I'm trying to live in the moment, really right now, and just be where my feet are. My assistant coach, Mark, always tells me that, just be where your feet are. So just take it step by step. Once the season's over, then maybe I'll start to think about it a little more. But as of right now, I just know that I need to get out and just get away. Um, I'm thinking Paris first. Um, just get right in the fashion and, and just documenting over there and then wherever that takes me, I'm just kind of going with the wind and seeing, I, I mean, I could see myself ending up in Chicago and, you know, LA, New York, we would see, but just wherever opportunities open up. As a whole, it's just important to have big dreams, no matter where you come from. And um, because you know, it's just a matter of working hard and chasing after them. And I truly, I've always had big dreams and had confidence in myself. And, and I, see, um, I see the steps that my life has gone and, and I've always seen the end goal. You know, all of my projects that I've done have touched me in, in different ways and have given me confidence and support. But I think, you know, I was part of a workshop last um, spring. I had talked to the Muslim student organization on campus and um, I was able to shoot a lot of different people and, and talk about their experiences and have them, you know, give them a voice and just the chance to, to write about their experience as a whole. And that was the project, I think, where I had gotten, um, I'd gotten a lot of positive feedback from my subjects and, you know, reassurance of, you know, that I'm doing the right thing and that, I'm touching people and I'm, I'm changing their lives too and, and it's meaningful. So I think that the title of his unapologetic project, that was what I was working on. And um, that, was, that was a big step. It was challenging, but I think that was the first real glimpse of like, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. If I can be doing this for the rest of my life, then it's, good. it's gonna be rewarding, so.